scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I choose to rejoice. I choose to live a life of joy. Prophesy to yourself. It's a choice. I choose to live a life of joy. Someone is speaking. Principalities and powers are hearing you. I choose to live a life of joy. Let your situations and circumstances hear you. It's a choice that in the name of Jesus, here in Abuja, in the name of Jesus, across Europe, everywhere, in ministry, in business, in my pursuit, in my career, I choose. Joy. Joy. Go ahead and pray. Just one minute before we continue. My hands to honor you Because your word is true I lift my hands to honor you Your word is true that I will have my baby Your word is true that I am the head and not the tail Your word is true That I am above and not beneath Because your word is true, I will see. So when I lift my hands, it's not because I know the answer. I know his word is true. And the Bible has already given me comfort that while I look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. He already tells me the things that are seen are temporal, but the things that are unseen someone needs to begin to look at things that are unseen the greatness that is before you the anointing and the mantle that is at the other side the other side of your tears the other side of your pain man of god do not give up in ministry it looks like things are not working but you are still called the hand of god is upon you let no man despise the grace and the gifting of god upon your life let no man despise your ministry let no man despise the investment of the spirit upon your family upon your destiny it does not yet appear but the hand of god is still on you i lift my hands to honor you i lift my hands to honor you hallelujah we have to wrap up number five and then we pray that a man can sit on the ground and yet worship powerful you would think the only way to worship is to lift your hands and jump but it is possible to also sit on the ground even in shame even in pain even in seeming defeat and yet worship are you ready for number five the fifth key every time you step into seasons where things don't seem to be working in your life please listen to me 
you must obtain grace to engage the prophetic the prophetic is a weapon of power when it is administered within the boundary of scripture that every time you are in seasons that look like the day of adversity you will need the prophetic they are taken for a prey and none say it restore there has to be a voice other than you that can speak restoration there has to be a voice other than you that can speak lifting are we together now when samaria was in decadence hunger we've shared it here women were eating their children then came this strange prophet of god and he made a declaration by the spirit by this time tomorrow moses came and held his staff and told the nation of israel god has seen your pain for these years and he has sent me as a deliverer all you need to do is to believe god and to believe me i am going to pharaoh and he stood before pharaoh he said pharaoh time up thus saith the lord god of the hebrews let my people go when the plagues began to come pharaoh said no 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 no. this is too much let the men go leave the women and the children moses said no way we are going plus our cattle everything i have watched with with shock even to me at the way the prophetic works in the lives of people who understand it and engage it i have had the honor and the privilege to speak over people over impossible situations that sometimes even me the man of god who was used to minister to them i can almost say my god will this situation turn around and then ah i'm not telling you what i studied i am telling you a reality this is by the privilege of God's mercy. I know what the prophetic can do. When, when a genuine prophetic mantle from a man of God's lips, a prophetic anointing, a spoken word, backed up by the integrity of God's word, when it lands over your situation, you just step back and watch it work wonders in your life. I told you here and I've shared this with you. The prophetic does not just reveal. Listen to me. The prophetic creates. The prophetic can lift a man from your yesterday into your tomorrow. Believe me. And you have come tonight to encounter that dimension of the prophetic. This meeting will not be over until that word comes upon your life. Listen to me. Because to live an overcoming life, God himself designed these principles. The prophetic, engaged with understanding. And by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, were they preserved. He says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. I, I say this with, with every sense of respect and, and I don't mean to brag, please forgive me, but there is a level of arrogance that is in the world today that will keep punishing many people and they will keep going through needless pain because of the arrogance of neglecting the prophetic. In as much as I know, as I would always observe, that mistakes have been made here and there in the body of Christ. People have, you know, mismanaged the prophetic. But can I tell you, it is an error if you find yourself ignoring the prophetic. In one night, I mean literal 24 hour one night, God is able to, through the vehicle of the prophetic, lift people. Listen, please come. Let me use one person to show you how the prophetic works. Anyone, come. You stand here. There are times where the normal way to climb this is by walking. Climb up. This is how to walk normally. Is that true? Please go back. There are times that there can be challenges right here. And you are attempting to climb. Now, please take one step. 
and stay there. The destiny is that you climb right here, but there are all kinds of things stopping you. At that point, hold my hands. The prophetic, are you ready to jump? Prophetic does not just take you one step. It will stand and push you like this. Are we together now? Thank you. The prophetic does not follow the sequence of the natural course of things. No, it is a dimension outsourced as a system of advantage. Yes, sir. The mysteries of the kingdom that can help men to rise. One prophetic word over your business. One prophetic word over your ministry. You can be fasting and praying by yourself. God is not stupid to have given gifts in the body. This is where sometimes believers, we have to be careful. You know, we have this mindset, oh, look, don't worry about you. You just love God alone and know him for yourself. Listen to me. God himself set in motion these, these offices in the body of Christ. It is an advantage for the saints. Even when Paul encountered Jesus, he still went back to the body for the continuity of his growth. I was so honored and blessed when, you know, His Excellency the Ambassador came and he was just jumping and celebrating Jesus. And in as much as it looked very funny and childlike, I said, this man will never remain at the same level. He has found a key that many people do not have the maturity to find. When the ark was being restored, David was dancing and rejoicing and thanking God. And his own wise wife came and said, no, 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 this is not royalty. You are bringing shame to yourself and, and dishonor. And David said, I am, I am, he told Saul's daughter. He says, I am rejoicing before the Lord who took the kingdom from your father and gave me. So that he will not now take it from me and give someone else. The Bible says God had the rubbish she was saying and she died barren. Can I tell you this? I'm not indoctrinating you negatively. You are intelligent people. There is a way the prophetic can be administered that makes people behave like animals. That's not what I'm teaching you here. But I am telling you this. If you have the faith to receive the prophetic, ladies and gentlemen, your life can literally change overnight. It's true. The prophetic has rules the first rule is faith faith in god and faith in the vessel rule number two honor honor to god and honor to the vessel these are the rules of the prophetic it does not just work arbitrarily no no please help them the prophetic has rules faith in god and faith in the vessel he will use. Please help them. I'm, I'm seeing angelic activities in this place now. Just help them, please. Just help them. You know, when you begin to teach like this, the Bible calls the angels that they walk in partnership with the word to confirm the words of his servant. So that's what is happening right now. I'm seeing several angelic activities. Just help people because people are already receiving all kinds of impartations. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord to sustain me. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. I remember one time a gentleman who was, I think he was that something happened and they relieved him from his job. And when he came and met me, usually I would just pray and tell him, trust God for another job. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me, he said, prophesy to him that you are making decrees that he is going back to that job. 
and it was a very good job uh, when I said it I could see the guy saying sir you don't know this is a XYZ oil company I said what is my business who among them can create oil are they not mining it the one who created the oil is now making a decree listen I lie not probably the person is even here or maybe he's listening it was within three days three days and it was a very very strange thing that one of the executive members who is a Christian a member of a, a popular church in this nation had a dream and in that dream a voice spoke to him and said bring back this young boy that this young boy is an asset he got up met with his fellow executives when they called him and he called me i said next time enjoy your testimony but next time do not be unwise not every man of god is a herbalist and not everybody is stupid i will not come before an intelligent congregation globally like this and just make a caricature of your pedigree and your intelligence except that this works believe me it does the prophetic can change literally 180 degrees the tides of someone's life but the challenge is that most people just say amen but they don't believe truly they don't thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head ah. thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. I'm about to pray for you now and declare that this prophetic dimension you must experience it this night. There has to be a word that will come because many of you you are going through all kinds of seasons right now. And I want you to know that there are weapons in this kingdom that can help us live the overcomer's life. We are overcomers. It is true. Who came here in this auditorium? I'm not doing personal prophecy now. I'm going to speak, but the Lord just put it. There's a woman who came here. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. This is why you came here. Please, who is that person? Very quickly, I just want to pray for you. The Lord wants to visit you now. Help her. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you the highest, highest praise to the King. We give you the loudest, yeah. highest praise to the King. We lift up holy hands. We lift up holy hands. We give you, we give you, we give you the highest praise. We give you, we give you, we give you, we give you the highest. There's such a powerful anointing in front of you. I'm going to pray for you now. Muimaka, Muimaka, Muimaka. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. Give you worship, worship. We bow down, we bow down, the deepest worship to the King. I want to pray for you, and I want you to believe you will marvel and wonder at what the prophetic is able to do. Just place your hand on your stomach, the power of God is strong upon you, every one of you. 
no you do, just just on your dress now you don't have to father in the name of jesus that they may know that you are the one true god right now i decree and declare for those of you who are in front here and those who are following by way of media an anointing is coming on you now in the name of jesus i decree and declare may that power if there be any spirit that is responsible for any delay in childbirth i command that you go out now out now out now out now in the name of jesus out now out my god the son i'm seeing fire just resting on you i decree and declare we cause that spirit now according to the time of life i stretch my hands return with your miracle children single children twins triplets receive it in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare it doesn't matter how it has been before now i announce to you by the god of heaven let that condition change now you will return back and you will return for many of you you will not exceed one month you will see that you have taken in already and so shall it be in the name of jesus christ please return to your seat very quickly hallelujah if you are in business here just lift your hands i just sense that anointing like really you are not just that you are doing by the way but you are really into this thing i want to pray for you i want you to believe god father please agree with me as i declare you will be surprised because there are some of you things have been tied down this is what i see in the realm of the spirit there are doors that should have opened but I'm seeing powers tying it down. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the ministry of the prophetic between now and the next one month, I speak to you by the Spirit of God. Return with strange testimonies. Return with strange test. Help me, please. Return with strange testimonies. Can someone help this woman, please? Return with strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every financial door that has refused to open, we have been commanded to bless. Therefore, I declare, in addition to your diligence, in addition to your value, in addition to the products and the services that you are involved with, I place this prophetic edge upon the works of your hands. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Let me pray for people who have gone down spiritually. Different aspects of your life. Because of the challenges over your life. Your prayer life has gone down. Your word study life has gone down. Some of you even hate church. You hate the house of God. You don't want anything to do with God again. I'm praying right now let fire from heaven rest upon your destiny now fresh seal for the things of God fresh seal for prayer fresh seal for fasting fresh seal for the study of the word fresh love for the house of God Every long-standing issue that has refused to give way in your life, that has lingered more than necessary, in the name of Jesus, this night, we bring it to an end. This night, we bring it to an end. For some of you, this week will not pass before you receive your letters. New season for you. And let me pray for those who are in ministry. Now is not the time to be discouraged. Now is not the time to be discouraged. There are mantles, there are graces that God wants to release upon people. 
Now is not the time to falter. Now is not the time to draw back. I decree and declare over your church, over your ministry, over your prayer platform, over whatever platform God is using to help you serve his purposes, I decree and declare, may grace rest upon it now. Now hear me. I want to pray particularly for families that either have been bereaved or have gone through all kinds of losses or are currently going through circles and patterns of pain. You don't have to come out. But I want to minister the power of God right now. Listen to me. Grief is a spirit and is a dangerous spirit that must never be allowed in your vicinity regardless the guys. Grief is a terrible spirit. It is a spirit that can reproduce its results in the life of an individual. I want to speak to you now. For everyone who has gone through or is going through situations of pain, many of you delay in your expectations. Many of you persecutions, criticisms, all kinds of tribulations. Many of you sorrow upon sorrow. But I want to speak to you now. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Ah. Hey, hey. Let hope rise tonight. Now I decree and declare for all those who have been bereaved, all those who are being bereaved, all those who are going through all kinds of challenges, inexplainable, many of them, find the peace of God now. <laughs> Father, you who is the Prince of Peace, administer the peace that surpasses all understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let me echo the voice of the spirit to you it shall be for you for a testimony it shall be for you for a testimony it shall be for you for a testimony it shall be for you for a testimony, you for a testimony. hear me joseph looked at his brothers and said while you meant it for evil that god is able to turn it for good i decree again one more time it shall be for you for a testimony hear me the final prayer tonight before i make the altar call is the staying power to go through these seasons the bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle your strength is small for some of you the word of the lord for you tonight is hold on you have come too far to go back hold on God sent you to Abuja, you are about to relocate and go away and saying, I'm tired of this city, I've lived a frustrated life. God is ministering to you, hold on. I'm still walking. Allow me to finish what I am doing. God sent you to ministry and it looks like nothing is working. Help this woman, hold on. God is ministering to you, hold on. Hold on. God told you to do what you are doing and you are still failing in it. Hold on hold on he's dependable you can trust him man of God just because you have not prophesied does not mean you are not a prophet he's making you hold on hold on woman of power woman of grace just because he has not given you a platform yes does not mean you are not called hold on while he walks on you hold on hold on that is the prophetic word hold on don't give up you have gone too far hold on hold on in the name of Jesus you hold on you have to return from this service knowing that I am not giving up I have received the strength to finish that the same energy it takes to go back is the same energy it takes 
you lost a job apply for another one you did a business and it failed start another one you did ministry and it looked like it's not working settle down and find out what you might be doing wrong and get back again one thing that you will not fail to do is to continue I've taken in 30 times 20 times 10 times 15 times 5 times and it looks like it's not worked go back again again is a powerful word again means hope again means God is not done again means there is no full stop and Adam knew his wife again and they who fell yesterday rose I decree and declare the strength that you need for the journey that is ahead there is a lot that God has in store in this end time for people across several areas in ministry career business I decree and declare the strength from heaven that can empower a man to stand in the midst of challenges and yet rejoice and yet continue may that strength rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ while standing I'm not going to waste your time you've had the sermon you are here and you are saying apostle I need Jesus Jesus I need you desperately you are saying I desire him with all my heart I desire to love him with everything I'm tired of playing church tired of playing religion I truly want you wherever you are or you are saying apostle I want to rededicate my life I, I, I can't call the name of what I am doing the faith work I need to start afresh wherever you are all the overflows especially inside and the galleries I'm going to count one to five very quickly we are out of time I want you to run and come and stand before Jesus now it's not compulsory you can choose to stay back but the Lord is giving you an opportunity now remember that decisions decide destiny come come running come running come running to the mercy seat flow truly i'm running run to jesus run to jesus everything starts with him mm. everything hallelujah 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 three i'm counting to five let's minimize movement so that we honor this altar call now please look at me and all those who are responding to this call from your homes from wherever it is we're here because we believe in jesus he is the savior he is the lord the author of wisdom the one who empowers everything that has been taught here for those of you who have come out here i celebrate and truly congratulate you for making this noble decision rebels don't come to jesus they run away from him that you have come to him is proof that you respect his lordship now please may i request that you lift your right hand high above your head and i want you to say this from the depth of your heart jesus is here let it be from the depth of your heart say after me lord jesus mean it from your heart whether you're rededicating your life or making this decision the first time go ahead say lord jesus tonight i declare that i believe in you I believe that you are savior I believe that you are redeemer I decree and declare based on the authority of scripture that from today you are my savior you are my Lord you are my king I receive the abundance of grace 
even the gift of righteousness i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that from today till forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb a recipient of the life of god keep your hands lifted father thank you for these blessed hands and these precious people who have come to declare your lordship over their lives by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven and i declare over you that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life in the name of jesus and now i commend you to god and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified i declare that by the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit you will continue to grow from glory to glory in the name of jesus christ amen and amen thank you for this decision um i want you to follow the counselors they are waving the placard please just follow them they'll have a minute or two with you and you'll be back to your seat let's honor and celebrate them let's honor and celebrate them thank you hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you